Welcome to this lecture in which we will discuss a duality principle to design estimators. We will propose an estimator with a correction term. We will borrow the idea from pole placement design. We will introduce the concept of observability. Let us recall the unsuccessful estimator that we presented in the previous lecture. We have the state equation and output equation. We want to apply the state feedback control law. We wanted to use an estimate. We proposed an unsuccessful estimator. So, the question is can we improve this by adding a correction term? So, let us start again. Here is the plant. Now, to the estimator we had before, the first line, let us add this correction term. I call it correction because this is y minus c x bar. In the place of c x, we put c x bar and this difference is somewhat like an error. So, can we say that this looks like error? Here is the actual output. This is the predicted output from the estimator. We want these two to be close to each other and we put this L p and L p is to be calculated as before subtract and let E equals x bar minus x. So, we get E this minus this and then similarly the first term x bar minus x and then B u and B u cancel and we get x bar minus x with a subscript 0. So, we get E naught into delta of m plus 1 and we get this directly here. The question we ask is can we make the error dynamics given here better behaved? All right, this is the summary of all the equations we had in the previous slide. Now, let us replace in the place of y as c x. So, we have c x m minus c x bar and once again copy the first line. Second line I pull out this c, I have x minus x bar. Now, what is x minus x bar? From here you see that it is minus e. So, I write this equation a e plus e naught into delta minus l p into c e. So, this is the equation we arrived at in the last slide. I group the terms involving e here. I get this. We already discussed that a could be badly behaved. It may not have good dynamics, good overshoot, rise time, etcetera. It could even be unstable. Can a suitable LP make A minus LPC better behaved? Does not it look like the pole placement problem? Let us look at the pole placement problem with A not well behaved. We chose K to make A minus BK better behaved. For that, we equated these two polynomials. Alpha c of z is the desired polynomial. Remember, we use this subscript c because this is for control law design. And we arrived at this solution using Ackermann's formula. The estimator problem is as given here with a not well behaved. We have the error dynamics. The question is can we choose L p here so that A minus L p c is well behaved. That is we want to make this polynomial equal to alpha e of z. This e now stands for estimator. So, here is the estimator polynomial. Can we make this polynomial that comes from pole placement? which is required to make this E better behaved equal to a desired polynomial. Now, a question is alpha E equal to alpha C? We will discuss it in the next slide. Okay. In pole placement, we chose K to make A minus B K well behaved. We placed the eigenvalues of A minus B K at desirable locations. I have written this k in red 
the reason will become clear shortly. Estimator, we want to choose LP to make A minus LPC well behaved. Here, LP is coming on the left hand side. Notice the locations. We cannot use the formula that we derived here directly. The reason is K and LP are at different locations. I have a question. Is any property of eigenvalues useful? So, let us recall the well known formula eigenvalues of A minus LPC equals, remember I want to bring this LP to this side. If it is to the right of C, then it will be in the same location on the right extreme. So, how do I do that? What property of eigenvalue should I use? I should take the transpose. So, this is equal to the eigenvalues of A minus LPC transpose and this is nothing but eigenvalues of, let us take transpose A T minus C T L P T, here is the unknown. It has come to the right extreme just as we have here. Now, the unknown L P is in the same location. So, we are ready to use the Ackermann's formula that we derived for the pole placement controller. Let us derive Ackermann's formula for the estimator to place the eigenvalues of A minus B K so that the desired polynomial is alpha c, we use this explicit formula given here using Ackermann's formula, where the c is the controllability matrix given here to place eigenvalues of A t minus C t L p t, so that the characteristic polynomial is at alpha e of z, use the formula L p t equals the equation given here. This expression is identical to this. In the place of C, I have put O t. In the place of A, I have put A t. In the place of alpha C, I have put alpha e. So, what is O t? O t is given by, in the place of B, you put C t and a t in the place of A and so on. So, here is the formula. This comes directly by observation, because the problems are identical if you take the transpose. So, this is the formula we derived in the previous slide. We will assume as before that this matrix is non-singular, so that we can evaluate this L p t. Let us take the transpose of the first equation. So, I get L p here, then alpha e of A t transpose of the whole thing, it becomes alpha e of A. Then this transpose goes away, you have to verify this, convince yourself that you will indeed get this if you take a transpose. Then E n, now what is O? It is a transpose of this, let us take the transpose of this and find the inverse. So, here is the transpose of O and this E n. When this inverse exists, we say that C comma A is observable. This is also known as the observability condition. If all states are measured and if the system is observable, an estimator is given by this equation. Recall, this is what we used. It is from this we obtained the error dynamics with L p given by this equation, where the script O is given by this matrix. The system is observable if and only if script O is invertible. Another name for this estimator is Leuenberger observer. To conclude, error correction term is included in the estimator. We made it similar to the pole placement problem by transposing. If we obtained explicit relation for estimator, this estimator is also known as the Leuenberger observer. 
we can build this estimator when the system is observable. Using this estimator for controller design will be explained in the next lecture. With this, we have come to the end of this presentation. Thanks for joining. Goodbye.